here for a reason. I don't care if it's Elder Daniel L. Baker, if I gotta get back to the altar. God work on me. God do a work in my life. It's not my brother, it's not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord. Work on me. Uh, and I know you're gonna look at me crazy because you ain't trying to get to the altar. You want to turn around three times and God has fixed everything. But it got to come to a place where we lay out prostrate, where we turn our face to the wall, where we turn our plate down and show God that we're serious. God, I want you to fix it. I'm not going to stay this way. You said in the word, who the son says free, he is free in me. So wherever I have bondage, wherever I'm bound, I can do it right now. Let me get to the altar. for some followers that will be not be so hypocritical that they reject repentance. Not be so hypocritical that they not be so complacent that they accept dead traditions and not be so satisfied that they refuse to be transformed. I ain't satisfied. Now maybe you are, but I am not satisfied. I can be a lot better than what I am right now. And you can make excuses. At least I'm better than so and so. It's a brother, it's a brother, so and so. That is not of God. God has a mark of a prize, of a high calling that I got to reach, and it got nothing to do with you. It's like preaching is that. But you got to have some people that say, God, work on me today. Work on me Monday. Work on me Tuesday. Work on me Wednesday. I want to be like Uh, he's looking for a people that know that to protect this legacy of an anointing, a Holy Ghost field, and transformed and renewed and on fire people of God that still believe in the power of God. Somebody shout out. So this, this is the legacy, and we must protect it. You go to the basic training, you drill soldiers on their chest. They have a special patch that says, this will defend. Uh -huh. The training, the doctrine, what we believe, this we're going to defend. I'm defending the fact that if you're on drugs right now, God will deliver you. I'm defending the fact if you're a homosexual, God will deliver you. If you're a fornicator, he'll deliver you. Being an alcoholic, he can still deliver you. No weapon. Who am I getting you? If we don't protect the dyslexia of God, dwelling within and empowering his people to greatness, then we can't pass it down. So it's time for us to protect the legacy. Somebody say protect the legacy. Protect the legacy. Can you believe I'm about to leave three minutes? I'm, I'm through with this. This is the last point. We got to talk about what we passed down. All right. Come on. We got a little bit of voice left. What we passed down. We must refuse to let it die with us. All right. We must refuse to let it die with us. In 1 Kings uh, 19, Elijah is complaining to God that he has done his best, but, but, but he feels as though he's a failure and his whole life and ministry has not mattered. Now, if you've never been there, keep living. We gonna get on the lies here. He shouldn't have felt that way. He don't believe in God. Sometimes you'll feel that like your whole life, your whole ministry has been a failure. Right. I, mean, I, I raise my hands since y'all don't want to do that. I, I feel, and sometimes you feel like you don't matter at all. Right. I know sometimes, you feel sometimes but, but, but the prophets have been killed off, and guess what? He was next. He was on Jezebel's hit list. But, but at that moment, uh, God lets him know that he has ordained a man named Elisha to take his place. The legacy would not die with Elijah. It would be magnified in Elisha. In 1 Kings 19 to 17, it says, And it came to pass, I gotta see this one, that he that escaped the sword of Hazael shall Jehu slay. And him that escaped from the sword of Jehu shall Elijah slay. Now, what is that trying to say? What is God telling us? He said, that means that whatever I don't live long enough to see or to do will be done by those I pass the mantle to. Oh, you better hear me. So if I don't live 
never see. If I never see God do it, I'm going to pass the mantle and they going to do it. I got some sons in the gospel. I'm going to pass the mantle to I got some daughters in the gospel. I'm going to pass the mantle to So if I don't see, if I don't walk in, they going to walk in. Y'all believe that? 
I believe that. I believe that we're going to go to some higher heights and some deeper depths. But it's all about what we put into our young people. What we put into the next generation. And, 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 and in closing, Pastor the close, three times, my third time, right? And in closing, it is time that sons and daughters be no longer children. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said that, right? We play church games. And the kids know about it. And they see it. It's time that we grow up to be fathers and mothers in the gospel. I ain't want to hear that. You ain't want to hear that. We still have a responsibility, y'all. It's still a responsibility, sir. You have a responsibility to grow not only from being a son and daughter in the gospel, to be a father in the gospel. That's why I'm so hard on myself. Because I've got to be a father one day in the gospel. I ain't a 35. I'm still a big brother right now. Maybe a cousin or uncle. I ain't really a father in the gospel yet. But, but, but I got to grow into one day being a father in the gospel. So I got I to gotta have some legacy on me. That, that, that when I go out, I don't represent just Elder Baker. I represent all those who came before me. Now women, when you, when, when women of God, no matter what we do, remember you represent Mother Baker. You represent Mother uh, 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 Sims. Amen. Mother Jones. Mother McAdoo. Amen. Mother Coleman. They have all these Coleman mothers down. All these mothers. Uh, uh, amen. All of them. Amen. All these mothers. If I forget them, Mother Green. Y'all call out somebody if I forget them. Don't, go, don't get mad at me. That's, that's a church game right there. Don't get mad at me because I, I forgot their name. It's hard when you're up here sometimes. I remember all these names. Mother Bender. Amen. 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 It's hard when you're up here. You remember these names. We got to remember our fathers. That when I represent, I go out, I can represent the fathers in the gospel. I represent Mr. Gunn, Mr. Jones, oh, yeah, Mr. Myers, Mr. Thames, Mr. Baker. I represent them. And it's my job to take it on living the father. Amen? Legacy. That is how I stay with God. We do Bible, we do prayer all the time. If you desire prayer, I want you to come to the altar. I do. 